Oh, shalom, shalom, spawn Yeshua, welcome again to the rock. I know this is a topic that I talk about often, and I know it's top, probably a topic a lot of people are tired of hearing. You have to excuse me. I am extremely, extremely tired. We've been working off of uh, very little sleep, trying to get things done, so yeah, I feel it. Anyways, um, I, I continue to harp on food. Continue to harp on food. And uh, we'll set an article today in Europe where uh, they are rationing fresh fruits and vegetables at the grocery stores, you know, due to, you know, many other problems they have going on over there. But food, the, 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 that's what it comes down to is food. These problems are, are, are taking place more and more and more and more and more often now in this country. Um people who receive, you know, SNAP, uh, food stamps, are going to be seeing a cutback in their food stamp stamps. Let me do less to spend. So at the same time that prices on food are rising, everything, electricity, rent, gas, the only thing that's dropping in prices seems to be is car values and housing values, or at least they will be dropping soon. But People aren't going to be getting the necessarily necessary amount of food stamps or you know money from the government to eat. You know, there seems to be, and maybe there always will be, a complacency that captures the mind of people that really enters into a person's mind, and that person then chooses to continue to operate in that complacency. And, you know, it just, it's bothersome. Because, you know these are the same people that are going to be, you know, asking you to cash app them some money. Asking them to PayPal some money. PayPal them some money. Because I get those people now, you know. There are people who have been asking for donations, um from uh, or sending me you know i'm homeless and i need money you know look at me i'm taking a, a bath in the burger king bathroom or whatever it is and i simply asked the person one time um would you be would you be willing to go to somebody's homestead to work and i didn't get an answer back and that was two years ago and to this day the person still sends me a request. And most, a lot of people let me know he's a fraud, but nonetheless, now I'm getting more and more of those requests. You, can you cash out me 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, $100? And I don't know, everybody said that, you know, the things I was talking about were stupid. They said, that, well, you're just trying to do this to the sisters or do this to, the, and I'm just like, these, a lot of these women don't have options. What, they're going to go back home to their mama's house at 35, 40 years old? 25, 30 years old going back to mama's house to live off her food stamps? Maybe y'all can combine your food stamps together? It's a shame. It's an absolute shame. So I continue to talk about food, and I continue to talk about these things because... These are the things that are going to be affecting you soon, sooner than later. So if you have a piece of property and you have some land or you have, you know, you have a balcony, I would highly suggest you throw some seeds in, the, in some pots and, and, and try to grow something. At the same time that I'm growing something, especially if I'm stuck in these major metropolitan areas, if I'm stuck in a place where if they raise the rent another 15, 20 percent, I'm done. I'm just, I'm just, I'm tapped out. I would seriously start making plans now. Don't wait until the rent's raised and you can't, you, you're going to get evicted. Make those moves now. Make connections. Make fellowships. Go fellowship with somebody. Well, I have a job following your show. I, I'm not worried about that. You know how many places are laying off right now? You know how many places are cutting back their hours to people working 24 hours a week? You know what kind of system we're in when you, you know, watch a YouTube video 
And every YouTube video seems to be some get rich quick scheme. Would you like to drive this car? Well, click on the link below now and, and we'll show you how. And, you know, uh, we, I make $10,000 a week. You know, that shit. Get rich quick and, you know, the, the situation where they choose one out of a million people and they make that person, you know, they make, you know, $1,000 a week and they try to blow it up to make it sound like this person's a millionaire. And more and more people are falling for it because the desperation is hitting an all-time high when, you know how easy it would have been to done some of the things that we had talked about for years? Humble yourself. It starts with that. It really starts with that lack of humility that we have. We all think that because we just, you know, the most high loves us, that, you know, we're living perfect and, and, and we're going to be the one that he, you know... Uh, uh, makes a millionaire or whatever it may be. You do know that all throughout the book there were times of famine. All throughout the book there were times of calamity. And the prudent man foresaw those things and hid himself. And we have prudent men. We have prudent brothers right now. And I look at these brothers because they're doing great big things for their households, for other households, for other brothers, other sisters, and I'm watching people struggle with no plan. And I guess because the whole COVID thing went away and, you know, well, theoretically. And, you know, things, the, the news started focusing on Ukraine and focusing on, you know, all this other bullshit that we stopped focusing on the things that didn't change. The food situation didn't get better. Chickens were still killed. By the millions. Heads of cattle sent to processing by the millions early. And we're still acting like nothing's going on. Well, that's in Europe, you know, FY. You know, that's not here. Well, the reason why Europe is in that situation, or I think it might have been Britain, is in that situation is because they import a lot of their fresh fruits and vegetables. Well, if they're importing them, they're getting it from other countries. Meanwhile, other countries are having a hard time feeding their own people. Farmers. Had a hard time last year. And there's going to be even a harder time this year. Y'all you, you, you forget about that fertilizer shortage that we had. It didn't get better. And the, the war in Ukraine is still going on, which is where a lot of that fertilizer came from. But I guess because the news isn't talking about it, it's not in our face constantly 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We forget. To our own detriment. Your mind should be focused on food. Food and having the necessary things. If you read the book of Sirach, the Bible tells you what you need to sustain life. You should probably be looking at those things. And stop looking at one day, you know, you're going to make the move that you need to make when you're ready and your time. And when you make it and you're ready and your time, that's when everyone's going to want to be there to be your hero. People are beyond the cash app stage now. People are keeping their money and preparing their household. There's a lot of things to get. There's a lot of things to do. Gardens to build. You know, food stores to put back. You know, protection. Training. These things cost money. While you sit back and blow all your money on none of those things. And then when shit goes down, you're going to want somebody to take from their, their own, you know, pantry. Their own gardens to feed you. When you were when you could have done that, you you were blowing your money on on TGI TGQ or I or TGI TGI Fridays, you know, eating out and going here and flossing and trying to look a certain way and trying to pay a car note that you couldn't afford so you could look cool. And then when the shit hit and your food stamps got cut back, and now you don't know how you're going to eat, now suddenly you want to fall on your knees in prayer. And now you want to fast for a husband. I know how my brothers think about that. But do you understand how that sounds, sisters? Do you understand how that sounds, brothers? That you're waiting until the last minute and then you're going to want to fast and pray? That you can create a relationship really quick with another brother that has been talking to you for years and, and you never took heed to what he was saying until now? Look up that article. Europe... I believe it's Britain, but Europe rationing fresh fruits and vegetables. Rationing. 
And they gave some bullshit reason. We know what they, what's, what's going on. The world's freaking falling apart. We got front row seats. I'm going to finish up. <sighs> Sisters are still planting. Still planting. And we have a long way to go. Anyways, bless y'all. Shalom.